Hey guys, I'm actually in Michigan today on special assignment on the road, which is why it's maybe a little bit noisy, but the truck I'm driving today is this brand new 2021 GMC Sierra 1584, and it's a very popular truck. We're based in Colorado, New Denver um, and Boulder, and this truck, I cannot find it at a local dealer. They're selling right away. You have to order it, pre-order it, uh, it's hard to find, including the heavy-duty trucks. So in this video, I want to figure out why is it so popular? Why are people actually choosing the AT4 off-road package uh, so often? So let's walk around and figure it out. So first of all, if we go this way, uh, I think it's a good-looking truck. So first off, I think GMC styling is quite good. I really love this premium package on this AT4 truck because it's kind of got monoch monochromatic look with kind of body color grill and bumper surrounds and it looks really macho and kind of has big headlights right here up front and the fog lights down below. So I think the style is spot on. It also has red tow hooks, of course. That's pretty much mandatory these days on an off-road truck. And then, of course, it's a crew cab. So it's very usable for daily work. And it also has a few luxury features. And of course, I'll tell you how much it costs um, at the end of this video or close to the end of this video. Uh, but I think what's happening is it's wrapping a lot of off-road performance and also luxury features into one package. So let's go around this way. This color, by the way, is called Cayenne Red. So let's take a look at the off-road features first, starting down here uh, with the tires and the suspension package. From the factory, this Sierra gets a suspension lift about two inches higher than a standard uh, GMC Sierra 1500 truck. And you can kind of see it here in the nose. They're still using uh, the tire they've been using for a couple years. This is the Goodyear Wrangler Duratrek tire. Nothing wrong with this tire. On the highway, it may be a touch loud if you're going at about 60, 65 miles per hour. Uh, or maybe a little bit less, but it's not bothersome. I don't, I don't think it's a, really a detractor from, from what this truck is capable of, but it's a very capable tire on many terrains. We've driven this truck on dirt, sand, mud, rocks, snow, ice. Uh, this tire does really well in a variety of conditions, which is really good. It is a 32 inch tall tire approximately. So in my mind, uh, it could be a little bit taller maybe to make the truck a little bit more macho but of course it has to comply with a lot of different regulations and lane change maneuvers etc efficiency of course is a big thing as well so it's got really good suspension setup also with wrench or shocks we might be able to see them in the back here i think the one of the best attributes of this package actually you can kind of see these red red shocks right here underneath uh, white and red, um, those are ranchos. And I think the combination of the tire and the suspension package and the spring tuning, all that combines for a really nice ride. I was just driving it last night uh, on the highway and through the city, and it's just, it's just a pleasure to drive. It's just really compliant ride, very nice. Um, of course, in this case, it has kind of a shorter bed option, uh, which is not a bad thing, and I'll show you the bed in the second but let me pop the hood and let's f figure out what's underneath the hood because there are a couple different power options or actually maybe even three options so here's another cool thing about this truck the trail bus currently is not available with a diesel but the gmc sierra 1500 is this is a three liter straight six 277 horsepower 460 pound feet of torque and it's made it to a 10-speed automatic transmission. For 2021, which is what this truck is, it's just $995 optional price. So it's just a thousand bucks. You can upgrade to this engine. And why is it an upgrade? Well, you get a lot of torque. You also get really good fuel efficiency. It's rated this one at about 24 MPG combined, about 26 in the city for this off-road package truck. And GM is very careful about this. They actually rate each uh, truck package separately so they don't have like one rating for all four-wheel drive trucks they rate this one the 84 separately and it's pretty realistic numbers you can get 26 in the highway pretty easily of course when it's cold and you're running your heater and everything else you may be a little bit lower than that 
but very smooth power. I know a lot of you always kind of email us and say, well, how reliable is this engine? Uh, how smooth is this engine? Well, I can tell you it's very smooth. The power delivery is amazing. You can see the turbocharger here. It's an inline six, so it's very smooth uh, orientation and, and it's well done. Um, I haven't had personally any reliability problems with one of these. I've tested it in the Chevy Silverado. I've done it in the Sierra. Um, actually, Suburban, Tahoe. I think I drove it in the Yukon <laughs> and maybe even in an Escalade. Uh, never had a personal problem with it uh, when, during our testing. Um, always been very smooth. But that's not to say that long term there may be some other issues. Of course, um, so yeah, I, I can't really speak for that. Uh, but of course, other people saying, you know, maybe there, this is a newer engine, so it might have some issues, but I don't know. Um, let's look on the inside really quick before we look at the bed and some of the other areas. So let's go inside. Okay, so the 84 gets a special trim. So it's got special uh, stitching on the seats, inserts, everything is wrapped in leather. It does appear to be, and it is a pretty luxurious truck, as you can see this kind of soft leather and stitching so it's not only off-road capable um, and it has the four low and four high four-wheel drive but it's also pretty nice inside i can show you the price here in a little bit as well um, actually let me jump in let me let's jump in and check out the, some of the technology it's, i was just driving so it's kind of already warmed up so it fires right up if it was really cold it would also be um It'll have a one or two second delay as the, the engine kind of prepares to start. That's not a big deal. A lot of diesel engines do this. Um, but once again, um, I wanted to show you a lot of the camera and technology options here. Sorry for the beeping. Hold on a second. Let me put my seatbelt on. I've taken this truck off road in Colorado with a group of people like about a year and a half ago and these cameras were very useful specifically these views let me show you so when you're looking towards the front tires and you're going around obstacles you can really tell like this crack in the asphalt exactly where you are and you can also look back and you can see some of the obstacles behind you as you're trying to negotiate around it and i, I thought it was really well done um, this is actually a denali version of it um, in this grill, in this grill version, but I think it's really useful and it also has cameras for the bed of course your hitch for hooking up trailers and it has optional cameras that you can install on your trailer so you can look behind it or inside of it. Also has this mirror, rear camera mirror, so it's a regular mirror or it's an image. I know I'm sorry if it's a little hard to tell um, you've seen this before. Um, it takes a little bit of getting used to because you have to kind of refocus your eye. But I'm getting used to it now and I kind of like it because it kind of gives me a clearer view of what's happening behind me. Here's my fuel efficiency. This is real world, cold night last night, driving with full heat, about 21.6, doing some idling. So real world, over 20 mpg, easy this diesel will do. Of course, also the big 6.2 liter V8 gas engine is available in this truck also. So if you want a little bit more horsepower, a little bit faster acceleration, that's available. Then heated seats, you can control your seat back separately, ventilated seats, you get all this, you get hill descent control, no uh, selectable locker, as you know, probably. You have trailer brake controller here, which is really cool it's on the right side it's very neat got your 400 watt outlet so as you can tell a lot of usable features very comfortable steering wheel there's also a heads-up display so you can see some information going forward and it's color very premium so let's go to the bed and kind of wrap this up and see you know exactly how much it costs i'll show you speaking about utility on this truck it's is rated this particular one at about 1400 pounds of total payload and 8800 pounds of total towing so not huge numbers as far as towing but i think it's very usable for daily work if you're towing a boat a camping trailer maybe a utility trailer 
for example, my ski boat weighs with a trailer about 6,000 pounds. This truck will do it all day long, do it comfortably and do it nice. It has this multi-pro tailgate, obviously with the step. Sometimes you can also get a stereo system in here. This one doesn't have it. Um, but actually, um, it has two different bed options. Um, it has the composite Carbon Pro bed or this steel bed. And after using the Carbon Pro, I kind of prefer this older steel bed with the bed liner because it, it's not as slippery as that Carbon Pro material is, even though Carbon Pro is a little bit more lightweight. And you also have a bigger kind of under edge on this bed where you can clamp more different different styles of tonneau covers and truck toppers so after some time after I've had time to review these trucks I really actually prefer slightly prefer the steel bed to that composite bed just because in the composite bed things can slide around so final damage with this truck and this is just the sticker price is 64,400 bucks and that's after the premium discount for the premium uh, package um, and you can tell this has an 84 premium package at 3700 bucks then tech package 2000 approximately driver alert package oh by the way um adaptive cruise control system is here too that's really uh, useful sunroof about a thousand of course the diesel engine a thousand um that sounds like a lot of money right so 64,000 is a lot but if you think about it what the pricing is going on some of the competitor trucks uh 64 maybe like a mid-grade package on a different manufacturer truck if you look at some of the fords f-150s or sometimes some of the ram trucks so yes yeah, 64,000 is a lot of money maybe there are some discounts that the dealerships are offering but in general um it's relatively good value if you love the styling of the GMC, which I think a lot of people prefer. So um, I hope this gives you a good uh, overview of this truck. So it has off-road capability. We've tested that and showed that to you at TFL Off-Road Channel. It has efficiency. We've showed that to you on TFL Truck. Utility and luxury. So if you put this all together, uh, I guess it kind of makes sense that I can't find one at a local dealer. <laughs> So as always, go back to tfltruck.com for all the latest news views and real-world uh, truck reviews, even from the road like this. Thanks.